Hello, friends. Here is Maria Trusa, the CEO of Orme Medical Center. As I promise you, every week I'm going to come and talk to you about issues with healthcare that affect our community. Today, I'm going to speak with uh, about uh, Lyme disease, and I've invited Dr. Middleton, our internist, to talk about this disease that actually is starting to affect many people. How are you, Dr. Middleton? Fine, thank you. So the first question that I'm sure you guys are wondering is what is Lyme disease? Lyme disease is a bacterial infection that's transmitted from a tick bite and is very, very dangerous to the human body. What are the symptoms actually of Lyme disease? The symptoms can be varied. Uh, the, the most uh, famous and well-known symptom is a, a very large rash on the body called erythema migrans. Uh, but it doesn't show up in everybody. So the other symptoms are more nonspecific. They can be headache, fever, uh, arthralgias, uh, fatigue, uh, muscle pains. So, but those are very nonspecific. So sometimes it's not apparent that the patients have been bitten by a tick. Got it. And um, how do you con uh, how do you get Lyme disease? Well, it can only be from a tick bite, uh, and the tick has to be uh, feeding or embedded in the body for uh, between 36 to 48 hours. Wow. And as far as um, preventing, uh, is there anything we can do to try to prevent this disease? Well, the first thing are uh, bug repellents that contain uh, DEET, D-E-E-T. And then, of course, the most important thing is any time after being outside, especially in the woods, especially here in Westchester County, uh, you, you have to really look for them. They uh, like to hide in the hair. They can go inside the ears. They can go uh, in the inguinal regions of the body. And uh, the problem is you really don't feel it when they, when they, bite, when they bite you and, and latch on. Wow. Um, as far as uh, the, so how do you find out that you have Lyme disease? Is it a blood test or? Well, you can look in the blood. The problem is uh, we can't tell right away because it takes up to four weeks for the, uh, for, for the antibodies to form inside the blood. So if you think you've been bitten by a tick and you pull one off, uh, then you can take a prophylactic dose of the antibiotic if it's within 72 hours. And if not, I tell the patients to, and they think they've been bitten, I ask them to come back within, within about three to four weeks so we can then look for it in the blood because like I said, it doesn't show up immediately. So once you have, once you know that, it's, that you have Lyme disease because the blood work came out positive, um, what is the treatment for that? Well, then we would uh, prescribe an antibiotic. Uh, most commonly, we use doxycycline that we take. Uh, we, we order for twice a day for 20 days. Um, as far as the, um, the treatment, so if you get treated, is it almost guaranteed that you're not going to get Lyme disease? anymore? Well, you can, you can get it again. If another okay. tick bites you, then you're, you're uh, reinfected. So I didn't realize that. I thought once you got Lyme disease that you, your body sort of forms, um, the antibodies, I guess, sort of speaking. Um, but that's not the no, case. No, no. Okay. You can, you can get it again if you get bitten again. Great. So I think we gave you a lot of information, great information. And I also want to remind you that we are here for you, um, the Four Main Medical Center in, uh, on 711 South Broadway in White Plains. And our telephone number is 914-723-4900. We're here for you. We're here for our community. Take care.